millimeters. So if I go to V bits here, and we have a 90 degree one inch diameter tool that we're gonna to be using, okay? Where does it start? Where does it end? That is an ending position of nine. So three and nine will be our start and ending points. So let's put that in here. Start three, end nine. This whole section diameter is turned round to 2.5 inches, just like the other demonstrations. We're gonna put a section diameter of 2.5 inches. I drew this out as a one, two, three, four threads per inch. So here are threads per inch, I would put in four. And we're done. We can now go to finish and save. So let's go generate the G-code. So now let's go to the machine and see this process take place. To begin, the cutter comes all the way down to that section diameter of two and a half inches to start a controlled plunge into the material while rotating the stock. The cutter immediately starts traveling down the length of the stock, um, giving us four threads per inch. Now the cutting speed is not very fast for this process. That's because all the cutting taking place is actually cross grain cuts. We want to minimize that tear out that could take place. All the cutting advantages shown here are automatically implemented into CCAM Pro. The reason we chose four threads per inch is to match the internal threads of this wooden component.